Hey everybody, I am Chuck Rogers, licensed professional counselor and licensed marriage and family therapist. And I am Keith Dunn, and I am a network engineer. And we are both married. Not to each other. Oh no. But we have wives, and we are dads. And small business owners. And together, we are Tabletop Coffee, where we talk about how to do life, do it well, being bold, and... And never better. And today we are finishing up a series, three parts, I guess it was, yeah. on how to move from 1.0 to 2.0. This is episode number three. Stay tuned and we'll show you how it's done. So we'll use the magic whiteboard again. Ooh, I love the magic <laughs> whiteboard. So if you enjoy our content, be sure to subscribe and click that bell so you're not notified of upcoming episodes that we put out. Yeah. Yeah. We'll show you how it's done. Yep. So moving on to number 10. Mm -hmm. This this one's going to be a little different than okay. all the others because there are four points to this. So 10, 11, 12, and 13 are kind of all just going to flow together. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and jump into that. And the first part of this is you have to identify the smallest thing that you think will make a difference. Yeah, let's draw that out. Remember the okay. Car, remember the uh, Carl, I want to say Carl Rogers, but yeah. it's Carl Richards. Remember the diagram that he did that talks about that? Oh, the, yeah, I remember us talking about thing. that. So, yeah, yeah you drew that out for me. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so the first one at the top would be that one. Do the, what is the very smallest thing that you could possibly do that would make a difference? So, I, yeah, I, I think sometimes we get really paralyzed by looking for the perfect thing or by looking for the biggest thing that we could mm. possibly do. I think so. To make a difference. And this is not one of those things that we say, go big or go home. No, We're no. saying, do something. go small and stay wherever and, just and move to 2.0. Yeah, because it's truly the thing of movement. Um, if you have a boat and the boat is not moving. Right and you're flapping the rudder, that boat's going nowhere. Okay. But if you turn the rudder 0.25 okay. and get the boat moving even in the wrong direction, it'll eventually get to where you want it to go. So doing something, doing anything that's different than what you've been doing mm. has a modicum of success attached to it. And this kind of falls into what we've talked about in so many other videos mm -hmm. as far as, you know, tip a domino. Yes, do exactly. something different or pull a domino out to stop and the stop the flow. But for heaven's sakes, don't do, just sit still. Exactly. Just, do something. Yeah, that's one of my dad used to say that. He says, son, do something. Even if it's wrong, do something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. You know, I think of um, Tom Hanks in the movie Castaway. Have you ever seen that? Oh, one? yeah. Okay, so Tom is, uh, he's on, I don't know what his character's name was. I'll call him Tom. And he was he was on the island, and yeah. you think about that. And he had to learn all these different things, and he would try little things. But he had to continue trying to do mm -hmm. little things to get enough skill mm -hmm. to eventually build this raft. Yes, and then venture off. Yeah, and so he did something. It eventually worked and got him off the island. Yeah. Ooh, got him off of 1.0. Yeah, got him off of yeah. 1.0. So, so choose something, even if it's small, do something. And I was thinking of an example of that was the problem was you, let's go back to the example we've been using throughout the evening. Okay. The problem was you and Rob need somebody on board and you were yeah. paralyzed by trying right. to find the perfect person. Yep. And so one day at coffee, we said, what's the smallest thing you could possibly do? to get this ball moving, and you did what? Yeah, and so we sat down and decided that we were going to create a job application mm -hmm. and find a place to put that. But the first real step in that was to step into creating that job application. Yeah. And that didn't fix the problem, but that was the smallest thing that you could possibly do. That's right. It would make a difference, and so you did it. We did it, and then, the next step is do something with yeah. it because it's sitting there in one note didn't do us any good. Right. So, it was great. So number 10 skill is to come up with the idea. Yes. Number 11 is to actually sit do down it. and do it. Right. And doing it was taking all of that information for that job application 
and posting it somewhere, which we used Indeed.com. That was our first step in doing something. Yes. Then number 12. 12. Yeah. Skill was to is evaluate. To evaluate. How is the process going? And that was interesting too because you got some applicants. Oh man, we got two hundred plus <laughs> applicants just in those first couple of weeks. Right. It was overwhelming. And there were some of those that were kind of Yeah, we had a rock duster and Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. And a Disney character and we, we had all kinds of things that had nothing to do with IT work. What we yeah, IT work or what we were offering. But at least the we process had, was started. We had had people flowing in and we had interest. And we had some good ones as you well. Yeah. Um, but then step 13 is to continue or discontinue. Exactly. So this one was kind of tricky for this situation because we discontinued it mm -hmm. temporarily so that we could rewrite the job application yeah. because we weren't hitting the right group of people. Right. We took time. We discontinued it. We started back over at number 10, and we did the smallest thing, right. which was making a change to the application. Mm -hmm. Then step number 11, we posted it again. Right. And then step number 12, we evaluated. And we liked what we had that time because we were getting a better group of people mm -hmm. applying for the job. And so then we just continued that process. Yeah. And that's where we are. So I, I think the big thing is to look for the smallest, put it in motion, actually do something. Anything right. that's different. Yeah. Anything different than what you've currently been doing has a modicum of success attached to it. That's right. And then you evaluate. And then yeah. when you evaluate, make sure that you look for any success. Yeah, that's right. Any success, right. even if it's small. Look for yeah. some success. And we did. Yeah. We had success. And Just, then either decide to continue doing that thing or discontinue it and right. go back to the top and try something else. That's right. So there you are. Yeah, that worked out great. 13 skills to go from 1.0 to 2.0. Wow. Oh, man, we covered it all. We did. We got it all in there. We're 2.0. We are 2.0. I know that we only covered four steps in this one, but if... If you haven't seen the first two episodes, be sure to go back and watch those. Yeah, it'd be helpful. Put it all together and, and make your comments. Put your comments down mm -hmm. below on what you think about what we've talked about. And also, if you've seen uh, some different things that you want to add to this. Because there are a lot of different ways that you can go from yeah. 1.0 to 2.0. I would like to hear your thoughts on what it is that you've been doing that has helped you to be this better version of you. Sometimes I'll say it like this. It's kind of like, you know, a year is going to go by and I'm going to have this conversation with myself and a year from now and say, you know, I'm in the same darn place I was last oh, year at this time. Right. Or I'm going to say, you know, thank God I did as opposed to, oh my gosh, I wish I would. Have. Oh, and, that's a great way to look at yeah, it. So these things I think will help me and help everybody to be that better version of you, be 2.0 as opposed to 1.0. Yeah, that's great. And if you enjoyed the content for this episode and all of the others, mm. be sure to subscribe and, and ding that bell so that you're notified of upcoming episodes. And like it. And like it. Until next time. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.